On November 11, 12, the Syrian government held a Russian-backed conference to encourage millions of refugees to return home. The following week, Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Maqdad claimed Syria is making tremendous efforts to ensure the safe and unconditional return of refugees and blamed the West for failures. Western countries are hindering refugees' return, so they can use them to put political pressure on Syria. These countries are using the pain of every Syrian refugee outside their homeland to serve their political ends. That is false. In 2018, the UN listed the conditions required for refugees' safe and voluntary return. The Syrian government has met none of them. A UN inquiry commission on Syria said there is no stable environment in Syria for the sustainable and dignified return of refugees. Human rights watchdogs have documented numerous violations against returning refugees. Returnees have experienced arbitrary arrests, torture and harassment, forced conscription into the Syrian army, enforced disappearances, and summary executions, Human Rights Watch said.